Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we have a little bit of news for Modern Warfare 2. If you didn't know, there's double XP currently active in Modern Warfare 2. It's a double XP event. It's only one day. It's going to be starting today, December 1st at 2.30 in the afternoon Eastern Time. It's going to last until tomorrow, December 2nd, also at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. There's nothing in the game that actually signifies that double XP is active. You just kind of notice that you get more XP, and I guess if you follow the official Call of Duty Twitter page, you'll see there that double player XP is actually active only for one day, which is really weird. I don't know why they chose one day. Maybe they're testing it out. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to make it so the little double XP icon actually appears in game to let people know that double XP is currently active. And if this year is anything like previous years, do not use your double XP tokens thinking that somehow you're going to get quad XP during a double XP event. That's not how it works. That's not how it ever has worked. Don't do it. It's a waste of your token. But I do feel so Call of Duty really shot themselves in the foot when it comes to these double XP events, because maybe I'm just an old hat. In fact, I know I am. I've been playing COD for way too long, but I can remember back in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, even going back to games like Modern Warfare Remastered, like any of these games, right? When there was a double XP event, a weekend or what have you, it was exciting, wasn't it? Like, remember back when Nuketown wasn't always available as a playlist, and therefore, if you're playing Black Ops 2, and they announced that this weekend, we're gonna have Nuketown 24-7 plus double XP, everyone, like, canceled all their plans. That's, like, what they did, because they wanted to play on Nuketown as much as possible, because it was the best place to go to level yourself up, to get your weapon camos, and do things like that. Well, nowadays, we don't really have that much anymore. Like, don't get me wrong, like, all the gameplay you guys see here on my channel is pretty much just me playing shoot house because it's a fantastic place to go to do challenges and level up your guns and things like that but having it all the time sort of takes away some of the I don't know, that, that like special feeling, I suppose, that we used to have back when it would be like a Nuketown double XP weekend or something like that. Like with no traditional prestige mode, it just doesn't matter. It's like, oh, double XP. Oh, boy, I may accidentally get to level 250 even faster. <laughs> and then once I'm there, I'm just done. You know, what I mean, like leveling up, like I'm intentionally leveling myself up slowly. Like I have all these double XP tokens, I'm not using any of them, because why would I want to get to level 250 and just stop leveling? It takes away that little bit of sense of progression, even though I I know it doesn't matter. It still feels good to level up and to hit max level too quickly just doesn't seem like something I really overly want to do. So I don't know. I think they shot themselves in the foot when it comes to player retention, audience retention. You know, they like talking about that stuff so much to their shareholders. And back in the day, if you want to have a double XP event, it was actually kind of a big deal. Like if you activate double XP, then suddenly, you know, your player count probably tripled for that weekend, especially if you threw in a map like Nuketown or something like that, that was in the standard rotation but rarely had its own dedicated playlist. And nowadays we just simply don't have that. I don't know, maybe it's just me. That's just something I thought when I saw that we have double XP today, I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> I really, I mean, if it was double weapon XP, <laughs> oh, I'd care. I would care big time. I'd be leveling up those snipers. I'd be leveling up those light machine guns. I'd be playing hardcore or tier one, which isn't even really hardcore with my pistols, you know, but if it's double player XP, I just don't really care anymore, especially considering the fact that Shoe House is already here. But continuing on from yesterday's video, this is going to be a rather short news update video, just like we had previously. But remember in that video, I talked about how Nade Shot called out Call of Duty because the man's playing on a state of the art gaming. PC and spent like nine hours trying to do this challenge and he couldn't do it because his game kept crashing. He started calling out Activision because they made a billion dollars with this game and they make a billion dollars every single year. Yet for some reason, there's still all these problems. Well, I even said in that video, man, when I make a commentary on something, most people, I do know that de some devs watch my videos, but most people kind of just go, eh, well, that's what Nero does. Nero calls out shit. Who cares? And he's not that big of a deal, right? And same thing is true of a lot of other COD content creators out there. It's only when the big guys, you know, Dr. Disrespect, Nade Shot, Scumpy, all these like bigger names in the community, it's only when they speak up that the actual people that make the game seem to really take notice. And Nade Shot, he was streaming, he called out Activision, and just a day or two later, we get this official tweet right here. We are aware of and working to resolve a specific PC GPU crash issue that is impacting some Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 players with NVIDIA graphics cards. Our teams at Phoenix and Infinity Ward are working closely with NVIDIA to identify and fix the issue. 
yeah, all it takes is somebody like Nate Shot to call stuff out, and then lo and behold, things are getting fixed. Isn't that crazy how that works, man? Like, I get that, like, maybe, I mean, Blame Truth's thing, where he was kind of like, known nuisance was like his gamer tag forever. I understand that, you know, content creators like myself probably are considered to be known nuisances within the uh, Call of Duty community, at least when it comes from the perspective of the developers and, you know, the publisher and things like that. I understand that. I really do. But I think at the end of the day, the biggest thing is when I make a video, I make a review, I make a, uh, you know, a very critical commentary on some aspect of the game. I'm not doing it just to be a dick. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't just wake up and go, ooh, I can't wait to be mad today or nothing like that. Like, if I make a video talking about how much the game is crashing and how that's it, really impacting the enjoyment that me and my friends are having, that's like actual criticism. And I wish they would actually take stuff like that a bit more seriously, not only when I do it, but when other content creators do it as well. You know, if I make a video talking about the benefits of a prestige mode and things like that, it would be fantastic if they actually took that to heart as compared to probably just writing it off because we're not big enough within the community for them to actually warrant any sort of action. You know what I mean? Like, again, if it's someone like a doctor, I'm just like name dropping. I feel like a douche doing that. But like, you know, it seems like if Dr. Disrespect says he doesn't like a map, suddenly there's a bill articles about how that map is now bad you know what i mean or again if nade shot does something if scumpy does something like if these bigger guys actually like try to take action it seems to really work and i think that's awesome actually i mean that's one of the reasons why i've always continued to be very critical of the cod franchise when things are good i say they're good if things are bad i say they're bad and it's because i do have somewhat of a platform here to hopefully try to get things changed but um there's definitely people out there with a much larger platform and hopefully they continue to use that platform for good as compared to just kind of ignoring and sweeping other issues underneath the rug but ladies and gentlemen that's it for this little news update video here today double xp yeah, real exciting, and uh, apparently, and I am somebody who plays the game on PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, so hopefully these crashes are going to go away once the teams at Phoenix and Infinity Ward are done working with NVIDIA to hopefully figure out why this is happening, but for right now, that's all for this video here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.